Hello and welcome back to Playing More Star Maid. So I've been working on my base a little bit. We've got our defenses up and I can show you a few things uh, regarding the catalog, maybe some turrets, uh, and more advanced turrets, uh, some docking, uh, just a little bit of this and that. Um, one thing that I've found when making all these turrets for my star base to give me a nice defense is I discovered the catalog. So what I did was I created a ship um, the, basically my turret ship and basically it's very similar to all the other turrets I've made before I just stuffed with some shield generators a little bit of energy regen uh, and uh, the basic cannons and when I was in the ship you press I and you select catalog and you see I saved them already and all you do is create a new entry while you're in the ship and name it whatever you'd like and it will save it as a catalog entry and you can then buy these uh, as much as you, you like. Um, it figures out the blocks and prices so as you can see I, I've saved a couple of my other ships like my, my large destroyer and it's come in at about two and a half million credits kinda cool and the Vogon constructor ship and and the basic turret that I've been using here so I'm gonna buy another one uh, once it's saved in there all I have to do is buy it I can rename it um, I think I'm on 15 or something now we'll just rename it so there it spawns right near me um, now sometimes it will spawn nearby but further away than it did right here it seems uh, it wants to have a, a w plenty of space for it to spawn uh, so just want to maybe move out into space before you, you spawn a new copy so there we go I can hop right in it's an exact copy of all these other turrets and all I have to do now is select the docking uh, just always make sure the uh, oh, my lasers make sure they're firing good we're set to docking and click on the docking turret the turret dock and point it outwards select our cannons and we're going to get out of it and I just have the AI console under there and we can turn to turret activate and so now the defenses for the ship uh, the starbase are all complete um, I haven't gotten any shields yet I still have the, the small re uh, power generator there I'm going to continue to work on it now the other thing I was added were a couple of docking ports uh, I got a little runabout rover for going to the store if I need be and then this is the uh, repair ship that uh, I had later so I have those docked and stored I can show you how to use a docking port they essentially work pretty much exactly the same way as um, the turrets uh, first though in order to place one I'll need to get into the base and I'll use the base block and I'll go into the construction mode so I'm gonna add uh, maybe another port up here okay and then we're gonna select the docking module and uh, want to rotate that now some people are suggesting control and shift and the WASD keys or the arrow keys that doesn't seem to be working for me but um, if you just hold down the left control button and uh, cycle through the facings it'll show you the red facing and so I want it facing that way and that gives us the uh, the representation of the space now the other thing that you can get are docking enhancers as well as the turret docking enhancers they they both work the same way um, what you're able to do with these is expand the size that so right now only a ship that fits in this block will be able to dock with this port so a small ship like this is is fine but if I wanted to say dock my destroyer uh, there's no way it's going to fit in there but I can add these extensions so what you'll need to do is it doesn't automatically link so like when you're if you have weapons that you need to link uh, what you're going to do is you're going to highlight the have your mouse over the uh, docking block and then we're going to hit C to select it and then hit V to link it and so there we go so what you can then do is use these enhancers to add dimension so as I'm adding them 
down that way it's it's increasing that access um, access that uh, volume of space that will it will allow so it so I'm adding that and then I guess if I add some height so it's still it's a much larger area but still um, so it doesn't seem if uh, so that doesn't seem to work it's you basically just need to all along like that you know, I'm out of them now um, but as you can see so that all of a sudden now I can uh, start considering having my large ship come in and just dock with uh, that large port now I'm not gonna quite have that set up like this but I have uh, the two small ones for those smaller ships and I can show you how they work and that arrow seems to appear sometimes when you're in the base build mode and then exiting out so keeping that in mind though that works the sa exact same way for the turrets so if I get my repair ship now it's locked and if I move if I turn left move with the mouse or the keyboard nothing's gonna happen I'm gonna have to click on or highlight the uh, the docking icon or press zero and then I just left click and I'm undocked so now I can fly away as normal I can use my repair beams and then if I select the docking icon again it seems to work quite far away see if I'm way back here there I've just clicked and that automatically docks and I can just get out of the ship and it's back docked at my station and uh, I can go on to the other ones so I have a little rover there uh, the Vogon ship I um, expanded a little bit I found 1200 more salvage cannons so this is approximately 18 to 1900 um, cannon parts <laughs> on one ship uh, with a little bit of power regen and uh, shields uh, and thrusters so I thought maybe we'd go eat a planet sounds like fun um, actually before I do that there we go get all excited before we do that I, I did do a little bit of upgrades on our destroyer uh, add an extra layer of armor so it's about three layers thick and some extra um, reinforced armor um, but I was thinking about putting on a new turret um, which I've lost there it is so I was experimenting around and I wanted to make the most powerful cannon I could in the most compact area um, I don't know this still I'm still gonna maybe stuff all the areas here with shield generators and um, give it maybe a skin of armor but what I've done here is it's I've tried to coil it around so the cannon is much larger than you know it, it, if it was straightened out it'd be a much longer cannon it'd be hard to fit on on my uh, on my uh, destroyer here but I'm hoping this uh, and it just fires one beam as opposed to most of those other turrets I made them dual beam these uh, this is just one and um, it, it's quite rapid fire and when I was testing it it seems to be doing a lot of damage there but one 150 damage per shot and uh, it can fire really quite rapidly. Um, thankfully I have a powerful shields but I was going to try using the turret extender to um, get that to work on our battleship. Um, like I said I'll do a bit more skidding afterwards and, and adding a few more features but for the moment let's see if we can't get this on here and uh, I'm going to pull out a turret docking unit and then the turret enhancing unit. So we're going to want our turret maybe um, we're going to hit the control and I want to face it face it up or whether I should face it forward. Let's um, let's try making a platform for it. Maybe we'll try facing it forward. I 
I think the range of motion is still pretty much the same. Okay, so it's still not uh, high enough. Just barely the same. Now I don't. It, I don't think this uh, turret will fit in there as it is. And if I add a bit more to it, it, it definitely won't. Um, oh right, I was I'm in the ship itself. <laughs> All right. Now I don't think this will fit. If it does, maybe we'll just add on an extra rung, and then we'll uh, add a turret enhancer. So we want in fly mode, and uh, definitely hard to see here, but thankfully an AI doesn't need a good line of sight. It, uh... Okay, so it's too small. Excellent. So, we're going to want to expand that. A lot of slow flying between ships here, but there we go. Alright, I'm going to switch back to build mode. We're going to add an enhancer. And uh, I'm going to start by pressing C. And pretty much, I think what I really need is just length for this. So, oh, docking module area blocked. Oh, okay, so it's, uh, hmm. Make it one. Although I don't really want a big, be hanging out way that high exactly but so if we link this now oh, and V right so that is only extending the length so that gives us a few more options Oops. I'm going to move this ship. Uh, we'll get out of here. And... We'll put our Yamato cannon on here. <laughs> there we go. Now, direction my face. Okay, so not quite it. I'm thinking we're just going to have to go right back to the uh, pointing it directly upwards and let it rotate around on that. Now, unfortunately, undocking some of these turrets, they don't have uh, any thrusters or anything, so <laughs> if you move a little bit, you end up wedging off yourself off and giving uh, yourself a bit of a, a thrust, <laughs> some velocity, and it takes a little bit to get back here. Um, there we go. We'll let that drift in, and we'll have to replace that turret. But as you can see, you can use those to then augment the size of what of a turret so we can have a much larger turret on here you know big battleship cannon or something um, which is eh, essentially a prototype there that I'm working on for for just that so uh, I'll continue working on that and see if we uh, can't get a, a nice big cannon since that seems to be the one that goes uh, most encounters will um, Go back to uh, this, and uh, as I said, I've had a whole lot of cannons <laughs> to this, so we should be able to collect a whole bunch of stuff really quickly. Uh, oh, there. So this asteroid, for example. Uh, so yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> Consuming the asteroid quite readily. Somehow I don't think it's still quite enough to quickly eat up a planet, but um, you know we'll find out. <laughs> I'll just have to 
empty out my inventory, I think, and get a little bit closer. Probably, I think we're a little f uh, distance from planet right now, and I'll make another video showing that. But as you can see, you can um, collecting if we if we ever need resources for anything, which probably don't. But uh, we can get into the factories, we can. Um, supply our factories with lots of raw materials quickly. And so that is uh, my latest update to the base. So thank you for watching. Uh, keep playing Star Made.